Yeah, hi there. In these comments, I'm going to just use your initials M. And I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer of all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass a tool for IVT. You completed our independent speaking practice test number 149. And the question is, what is one change you could make in your hometown which could reduce its traffic congestion? Give reasons to explain your response. So that's the question. And what I want to do now is, is to listen to what you say. In my hometown, many people are facing problem with road traffic. And I would like to extend the roads and build the flyover wherever is necessary. Okay, so you have kind of an introduction, creating uh, some background. There are so many reasons why I have chosen to road to be extended and build the flyovers. First, yeah, I'm having some trouble understanding what you're saying there. As population increases, the use of vehicles and public transport. We say vehicles, vehicles. Sport increases and that leads to heavy traffic okay. and stuck over the, the signals. Second, so many accidents are taking place. When you say second, so many accidents, when you get to your second point, say another reason why this change would help reduce traffic is, so make sure that when you get to your topics at various parts of your speech, the topics explicitly connect back to the purpose of the task, which is one change which could reduce the traffic congestion in your city. Because heavy traffic rush over the signals, crossing speed limits, etc. And last, we, as we know, that time plays a crucial role in humans' life. What See, we're, I'm still not exactly sure. What is the change that you think would benefit your hometown in terms of reducing the traffic congestion and why would this change be beneficial? So a lot of what you're saying, it's not directly connecting back to this purpose. It has to reach the destiny within time. Some are rush to office. Some are going to attend interviews, emergency ambulance to catch a train. All these factors, cancellation, time is important, and all most of the time kills a traffic signal. Yeah, but how do these things affect the traffic congestion, specifically in reducing the traffic congestion? That's the argument you're trying to make, but what you're saying is not really directly connecting back to that purpose. Because a traffic signal due to increases in vehicles and then roads. Okay, so uh, on this one, uh, let's take a look at the rubrics here. Okay, so this one, it's not really directly, most of what you said, you're explaining a lot of what the problems are in your town, but you're not explaining what change you'd like to make and how it would specifically reduce the traffic congestion in your city. So you need to connect what you're saying back to the purpose of your task. And uh, I'd, I'd like to have you take a look at speaking lesson number seven. One thing that you can do that can help you stay on task better and organize yourself better is to repeat or rephrase key terms from the speaking prompt, which you didn't do. So uh, that's one thing you could do. You can learn more about what I'm talking about by going to speaking lesson number seven. Now, overall, you, aside from a few words I couldn't understand with your pronunciation, for the most part, you're speaking fairly clearly, you're demonstrating fairly strong grammar and vocabulary proficiency, but your topic development is weak because you're not really directly addressing the speaking task. Your score here, I'm going to give you 2.16 out of 4, uh, 17 points out of 30, on this particular practice test. Now, for the purposes of our class, uh, 17 points out of 30, let's take a look. So 2.16, you 
if you go to the final exam, go to page three in your syllabus, speaking final exam. So 2.16 is going to give you a 75% uh, on this assignment. All right, anyway, thank you very much.